When the COVID-19 pandemic forced the suspension of sports globally, few remained optimistic. Even when sports returned, because of the strict standard operational procedures, few countries were able to take the risk. For the game of badminton, Uganda came to the rescue of the World Badminton Federation and the Badminton Confederation Africa on various occasions. Last year, Uganda was entrusted by stakeholders to host several competitions, the Uganda Badminton Series, the All-Africa Senior Mixed Teams Championship, and the Uganda International Para Tournament, all took place in Lugogo. It is also against this background that Badminton Confederation Africa President Michael Bao described Uganda as the capital city of badminton in Africa. I said that uh, Uganda is the capital of uh, Africa badminton. Uganda is one of the few countries that I, I think Uganda has a, there is a little bit of a sport culture in the people of Uganda. Uganda is also credited for saving the game in Africa, even when countries like South Africa decided to chicken out. Last year we have an African championship. That competition was, was, was supposed to be organized by South Africa. But South Africa at that time, they could not make it because of COVID situation. And uh, at the last minute, about three months the before the competition, South Africa told us that they cannot organize that. So we didn't know. We asked, who can do that? So we asked for everybody to say, which country can, can organize this tournament? So nobody. But Uganda came and said, we will do it. Two competitions are expected this week. These include the Uganda International Challenge that will be followed by the Junior Tournament on Monday. After these two tournaments, the Uganda Para competitions will follow suit later in the year. Michael Bao also knows the risks that come with hosting a tournament which is open to the rest of the world. Organizing a competition is a big, 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 is a big thing. It's not that easy. You have to find sponsors, this and that, not easy. So we took it in consideration that we were, were there last year, but you know, Uganda, the resources are limited also. We cannot always to abuse, you know, every time going, say, but we didn't have any chance to say, please, Uganda, can you do something for us? And Uganda said, I'm ready. As Uganda prepares for the upcoming tournaments, Badminton Confederation Africa have expressed their joy following the support they garnered from partners and sponsors who always come on board. In Africa, it's not, it's not easy to get sponsored, but as I can see the Uganda community, they like badminton. Because I can see that we are getting, getting a lot of sponsors. So all these circles, all they are trying to help for the better of badminton, for better badminton of Uganda, but in the same time we are helping the development of badminton in Africa. Clive Chazé, CTV, PM Edition.